Here are six easy steps for defining wire and cable harness design natively inside of Onshape. Step one, create a connector library. Your connector library can be imported or natively built in Onshape. You can then establish all of the electrical information relating to each connector. Next step is optionally creating a clip library. Clips are gonna help keep your wires in place in the assembly. They can also be wire channel as well, like you'd see in an electrical cabinet. Next, let's import a net list from our ECAD tool that defined the schematic for the design. You can then take that information and bring that into Onshape. Let's create an in-context assembly in Onshape so that we can route wires surrounding the components as we see here. Let's import our wire data from that CSV from Excel. Then insert the connectors that the CSV had called out for. It's automatically going to show us the components that were requested in that CSV file. Simply place the connectors and Onshape will update the wire table data on the right hand side to also help you understand where you are in the process. Next, let's continue to add wire reference information based on the information in that spreadsheet. As you can see, the table data on the right-hand side updates as you do your work. Now, we can go ahead and actually connect the routes using routing capability, which will establish the wire length automatically. You can see that it will take a from to length, and then you can then use the wire clips to help route through. They can also be bundled together into a cable. Simply just continue on until you've finished all of your cables and harnesses in Onshape. All the cable length and minimum bend radius information is established in the table. This table information could be copied to a drawing. There is no automatic flattening capability currently for this particular feature but this gives you the knowledge that you can fit your cables in and keep data and power cable separated and run advanced studies for simulation and rendering. There is a full tutorial on this that's about 45 minutes long that Neil Cook has created. Please take a look at that video for more details if this looks interesting.